We're going to continue improving the user interface for adding pictures to the database. And so let's take a look at this. And we'll do this on all the pages, the edit and add pages. But right now, uh, if the user has to update a photo, I mean, have to upload a photo, they'd have to go back to the admin page and upload the photo and then come back there and it'd be in the drop down list and they could get at it. So rather than forcing them to jump around like that, we'll add a button here where they can just upload the upload the picture from this page. And what we'll do is take the code from the upload picture page and put it on a panel. Do like we've done before, hide that panel and just show it when the user clicks the button and when they're done, we'll hide the upload panel and show the come back here to this uh, form view or details view, whichever one this is. Okay, so let's get on this. So the first thing we're going to do is come in here to our template. And again, we want the edit item template right after our drop-down list for the for the pictures. What we'll do is paste back in a... Uh, sorry, I don't want to jump around like that. We're adding a button here. So this button, I'm gi I gave it an ID of CMD add image. Uh, this doesn't matter so much in this case. You know, normally with VB, we'd want to know what this is. But um, what we really need to do here is set this field, this command name field. Since this button is inside a details view, we can't get at it directly from our VB code, and we'll look at that in a minute. So what we have to do is make sure and set a command name on this button. And then we also the text. This is just the caption that's going to appear on the button. We need to make sure it says something that the, so the user knows what this is. So I'll have to say upload photo. Okay, so that's it for adding the button. Now what we want to do is come down here somewhere and add in the code for the panel with the uh, update code. And so I'm going to add in this panel. And I'm just going to make sure it has an ID because, we're, again, we're going to toggle the visibility of this guy. And the next thing we'll do is copy and paste this code. This is just from this upload images page that we made, upload pictures page that we made before. I'm going to copy and paste all this code in here. I'm going to change some of the text around when we're done with this. But I'm going to, I am going to keep, keep this main piece of code. And I'm also going to look here and um, the name of the button inside here that they'll press is button upload file. So uh, I might change that to CMD. I don't know. Let's see what else we got going on here. Okay, so that's it on this page. Um, now let's go to our VB and add things back into our or add things to our VB. And one of the first things we need to do is add in this code. So it's here's the code for our button upload file. Since I called that on the other page, I'm going to keep it button upload. But um, the other thing I'm going to want to do here is at the end of this, after the user does everything, we're going to want to toggle the visibility. So we'll, I think we'll come back and do that in a second. Let's uh, do the next thing here. So here's where you know, normally we'd have the button that we pressed when the user clicks that upload image button. We'd say, just find that code. But to get a code that's inside a details view, we actually have to go to the details view and then the item command event. So again, we could get at from here, go to details view one, and then the item command event over here. This will add this in here for us. Um, and that's to show you then how we figure out that it's that particular button, is that we do this. We compare the command name that's passed in this E kind of event object, event arguments. It comes over, and we'll put our string in here of our command name. So inside here, we'll say show upload panel. So what we put in here needs to match what we had up here in the command name for that button. Or not the command name, I'm sorry. Um, yes, I meant I said that correctly, in the command name for the button. So this says show upload panel here. We're saying when this gets passed across, it actually gets a pa passed across as an argument. So we could have several buttons inside our details view, and we'd have to have one of these for each button. Since we only have the one, we'll just do this. In fact, since we just have the one, we could skip this, but this is kind of the normal form. And, you know, if you don't want to program, I'm sorry to bother you with all this, but this is what we do. Okay, then the next thing we'll do is then toggle the visibility of those two things. So what I'm going to do is then grab this code and paste it down back in here. And this is routine. So after they've clicked the OK button, you know, after they upload the image, we're going to flip these. So we'll make that 
panel false and we'll sh show the details view panel again. So let's save all this and then give it a shot. See how it works out. Okay, so, oh, you know, we need to set the visibility of this guy to false to start with, so let's just go do that real quickly. So, let's see, it's on this panel. Down, way down here at the end. The panel add image. We'll set its visibility, or visible, equals to false. Let's run this again. Okay, so we don't see that panel until we come here, come in here and select something to edit, and we see the upload photo button. We click on that, the details view goes away, the um, upload thing comes back, and like I said, I'll come back here. Maybe in the next video, we'll make it quick. We can. Um, fix that and then we could upload a picture I'm gonna cancel out of this you know oh, we need to have a cancel button on here too so that's what we'll do in the next one is come and put in the cancel button or I guess we'd say upload file and it toggles it back so here we go um, let's actually maybe test this out with actually with, with actually putting a real picture in there so let's go to Google and grab a picture from Google We'll stick it in that uh, that folder and then test it out. So let's see Google Images. Uh, let's just say car. We ought to be okay with some car here. So save this target as. Let's see runner soul. I'm just put it here in other images. Up. Oh. Actually, want to get the picture here. Save picture as. Okay, sorry, I got to browse down there again. But websites, runner soul, other images, car. Okay, so now we can go back here and say upload photo. Browse, find car, say upload file, and then the last thing we need to do, oh, here's no one more thing we need to do. So we'll come back and do this, but we will uh, add it. We need to add it to the list because it's not on the list now. So we got it uploaded, we just don't have it uh, in our list. Okay, but anyway, that's the end of this one. You know, it's a lot of coding. Uh, that's why it really helps if you know VB or C Sharp when you do this. Uh, you just know how to learn this stuff.